Hi, my name is Jonathan Myers. I'm 20 years old. I live in a nice suburban countryside in North Carolina, and of course, I'm a gamer. I really like the Splatoon games, though I've never played the first game and I didn't really get into it. I'm still a fan, and there's, there's this supposed hidden part of the internet that lets you buy illegal stuff. It's called the dark web. You probably heard of it. What could these two things possibly have in common? I know you're probably confused, so let me explain. It happened when I was about 17. My parents were at work, and I had the house all to myself. I heard a knocking on my door, but when I went outside, there wasn't anyone there. Not even their vehicle. I then saw something on the porch. It was a box. The box had my name on it, so I knew it had to be for me. But I found it weird, and there was a package for me when I didn't even order anything. I texted my mom and asked if she ordered anything online, and she responded, No, I didn't. Why? Did you hear someone knock at the door? I replied, Yeah, but someone left a package for me. She for some reason didn't respond after that. Maybe she was busy at work. I asked my dad the same thing, and he said he didn't order anything either. The fact that there was a package for me when neither me nor my parents didn't order anything made me feel like something was wrong because it didn't make any sense. I then opened the box, and in it was a USB cord, but it wasn't a normal one. It was all black, and it said Dark Web. I thought the Dark Web couldn't actually be all that bad considering all those 3AM videos are fake and made for fun. I, I decided to put the USB in my computer, and boy, how stupid of a decision was that. When I put the USB in the computer, it started glitching, and after it, I saw a bunch of zeros and ones for a split second before there was a message saying, WARNING! There might be some things you may regret seeing, or buying. Turn back, now. I then said, Yeah, like I'm gonna fall for that, because I thought someone was playing a prank on me. But little did I know, I was on the dark web. I then proceeded to press the enter key to continue. There were three things for me to click on, videos, images, and shopping. I was interested on what kind of stuff I could buy, and it somehow knew that I like video games considering that under my recommended sections were Nintendo Switch games. So I went to look at the Nintendo Switch games because why not? I, I saw some normal Switch games such as Mario Odyssey, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, and Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. But there was one game I've never heard of before that caught my eye. It was a Splatoon game. But it wasn't Splatoon 2 or 3. It was different. It was called Splatoon Red. The box art depicted two Inklings that looked like the Inkling girl and the Inkling boy from Splatoon 1 in front of the pitch black uh, background, but they had razor sharp claws and teeth with a disturbing carved smile, a long tongue like something out of a sci-fi movie, and instead of orange and blue, their ink color was red. They even had it oozing out of their eyeless sockets and mouths, and their clothes and hands were covered in it, but was it even ink though? Instead of white, the logo was, well, red. What caught my eye the most was the fact that it was rated M. I thought it was weird because Nintendo doesn't usually make M-rated games. I noticed that the game was free, which is almost never the case when it comes to games. After I saw the Nintendo logo and rated M symbol, I noticed that the description said, This game is haunted. Do not buy it. It might be the last game you ever play. Again, I thought it was some sort of morbid joke. I added it to my cart, and there was a message that said, Your product will now be sent. <laughs> I then heard knocking on my door again, and when I opened it, the same exact thing happened as the first. <laughs> no person, no vehicle, just a box on the porch. Shout out to Amazon Prime, baby! I took the box inside and opened it, and saw the game I ordered ins inside of it. But how could it arrive so early? I looked at the back of the game's case and it said, God can't help you now. Show us what you're made out of. I was creeped out, but somehow also interested. I took out the cartridge and noticed that the bottom was different. It said, no escape 666 hell. <laughs> the cartridge had the title of the game in front of what looked like a splatter of blood with the Nintendo logo and the M rating underneath it. All in the front of the black background, like the box art. I put the game in my Switch, and then the home icon was just a black screen. No picture, no text, not even the game's title. And instead of the title, the blue text above it said dot dot dot. 
I thought I must have been playing a hacked game or modded game. When the game started up, after a few seconds of silence, I heard a high-pitched laugh, like that of a little girl, but more demonic and ghostly. I then heard a violent scream, followed by a, a by a gunshot, as blood splattered all over the screen. The title screen was written. Oh my god. The title screen was written in blood, and an eerie ambiance played in the in the background. Next to the, the copyright symbol was "Hail Satan," and instead of the year, the te text next to it said 666. When I when I pressed start for a few seconds, I saw an inkling with red dots in her bleeding eyes as she was staring at me, smiling. All I heard were loud static noises in the background. After I made my character, there was no intro or news. It didn't even show who the idols were. Other than that, the game seemed normal. I was in Inkopolis, but there was no one there, and there was no music, only silence. When I when I walked forward, it changed. Inkopolis looked like it was in ruins and abandoned, and destroyed with more blood than ink splats or graffiti. There was a bunch of dead bodies of Inklings and Octolings ripped apart with their blood guts and internal organs splattered everywhere. On the buildings, there was a phrase written all over in red writing, we crave blood. My inkling had a scared and sad look on her face. I then saw five inklings and octolings that were still alive, but they just stared at me with their soulless eyes and expressionless faces. When I interacted with them, they all said the same thing. I'm trapped in hell. Please help me. I thought to myself, why would Nintendo make a game like this? I then went into a manhole that said, enter if you dare. I was assuming it was hero mode. When I went in there, I heard that laugh again. Then I was in some sort of wasteland covered with a red liquid dripping out of the sky. Blood. And I saw Marie, Cuttlefish, and the agents. But they were all dead. When I walked forward, I saw someone. It was Callie. It sounded like she was crying, but it didn't sound like something you'd normally hear in Splatoon. Instead, it was it sounded more realistic and depressing. Her text box said, Who are you? Why why are you doing this? In front of her was the inkling girl from the box art. She was called Bloodling Girl. She proceeded not to answer and instead said, You look fresh enough to eat. As she ripped out Callie's guts and ate them alive, killing her! Callie screamed so loud that it gave me a heart attack. The bloodling girl looked at me and said, My brother and I killed almost everyone, and you're next! Then the screen faded to black. And then I got a news notification that said, Five people went missing after playing a supposedly haunted game? Immediately after that, the game sent me to some sort of turf war on Moray Towers, but the text said, There's nowhere to run. The game started, and the two bloodlings were on the other team. But I was the only one on my team. The music sounded like calamari incantation, but slowed down. The bloodlings teleported and circled around me. I tried to stop them by shooting them with my ink. But they didn't even flinch. They then disappeared, and I couldn't control my inklings anymore. There were bombs tracked on her and then exploded as she got splatted, sending me to the game over screen. The screen said, We'll trap you in here like we did the others. I found out that the five people from the news were murdered by the bloodlings and their souls were trapped in this cursed game? Like, what? I wasn't playing a hacked or modded game, it was haunted and dated by demons. Demons from the bottomless pits of hell. I heard a whisper that sounded like it was coming from right behind me. We're coming for you, Jonathan. The screen turned into static. As I saw a hand coming out of it, the two bloodlings then crawled out of the switch and into the real world. They both said at the same time, Welcome to hell. As they walked towards me, I saw no signs of mercy. They had a bloodthirsty rage for killing like I've never seen before. They will soon kill everyone in sight with their bloodthirsty teeth and their sharp claws. The girl attacked me and I defended myself by, wait, what the heck, whoa! Is this, jo is this Jonathan Joestar? Cause what the heck, where did this superhuman power come from? The girl attacked me and I defended myself by ripping her face off? 
The girl attacked me and I defended myself by ripping her face off, revealing one of the most disturbing things I've ever seen. Rows of teeth with a tongue in the middle. I kicked her in the stomach, stunning her for a few seconds while I took the game's cartridge out of my Switch and then said, see you two in hell, before smashing it into bits, causing both of them to glitch out and vanish without a trace. I threw the pieces of the broken cartridge in the game case, as well as, as the USB cord in the trash can, trying to make sure they were gone and just continue on my day like nothing happened. My mom got home and asked if I could take out the trash for her. When I opened the trash can, I noticed that the cord, the game's case, and the cartridge were all gone. The next day, my younger cousin Sarah texted me saying, I got this cool new game from a website using a USB. It looks a lot like those Splatoon games you've been telling me about, but you've never told me about this one. It's called Splatoon Red. Just last year, I was able to buy a copy of one of the best-selling Wii U games, Splatoon, at the local GameStop. I saw people play this game on the internet, and I wanted to try it out so badly. The guy at the counter got the case for the game, which looked different from the other cases. Instead of an orange-haired squid girl and a blue-haired squid boy, I saw a red-haired squid girl and a black-haired squid boy. I kind of wanted to ask why the case looked different, but to be honest, I actually thought they looked cool. Even the guy getting the game from the drawers didn't seem to care much. So I laid my money on the counter and picked up the game after putting it into a baggie and went back home. When I went to my room, I took a closer look at the cover of the case. It didn't look very different from the original case indeed. There wasn't any orange or blue paint surrounding the characters. It was more red and bits of black. Even the logo looked a bit different. I thought that it may have been a GameStop exclusive since red and black is their color, so I just shrugged it off and put it in the console. When I started the game, it asked me to create a character. After doing so, I was placed in the hub world. I started roaming around the shops to see what kind of stuff they were selling. Unfortunately, I couldn't buy anything because I wasn't leveled up enough and I had no cash. I saw their squids around, many of them had really cool artwork when I got up close to them. One of them even had a red and black uh, red and black squid girl and boy. I immediately thought, yeah, it must be a GameStop exclusive thing. I headed out to play the game to get a feel of what it was like. It was amazing. After about 30 minutes of gameplay, I finally went to the online area to play against people from around the world. After the game ended, I headed over to the hub world to visit the shops again. When I walked into one of the door, it wouldn't open, and it said on a sign on the window, Go away. We're closed. I looked around the hub world and noticed that no one was there. I thought it may have been my terrible <laughs> internet connection. So I stepped inside the online battle area, and I saw the two squids that were on the front of the box I got. One of them pointed at my character as if it was challenging me to a battle. The word sure and no way popped up. Being the first time uh, playing this game, I immediately said sure, instead of going on the, onto the screen where you have to wait for other players. It immediately put me in a game. The color of my inkling was my personal favorite, light blue. As soon as I took a step off the area, I spawned at I was immediately surrounded by red-colored inklings. They began spraying me with red paint. I could barely get away. I tried to shoot a couple of them, but they just wouldn't go down. I was starting to get covered from head to toe with red paint. Then I ran into another red inkling around a corner. I immediately got splatted. After that, the game suddenly ended. That was it? I asked myself as the words, you fail, showed up in red splotchy letters. Usually after every game, the little cat comes by to raise a flag of which color, uh, of which team color won. In this case, it was a red inkling saying, failure, try again next time. I walked back into the hub world to find that everything had been darkened. I didn't know whether 
whether or not the game had a day or night cycle, but I thought it looked very eerie and bizarre. I saw no squids anywhere except for the one in the middle of the area, which I could barely see. I walked up to him slowly, and a common popped up. They stole my color and left me dry. I have nothing now. Not even my own blood to survive. Someone. Please save me from this hell. Wow! I backed away after reading what the inkling said. Suddenly, I, I, I turned around and saw the red inkling in front of me. The game then shut off. I quickly got up, turned it back on. I wasn't about to let some glitch ruin my game, or so I thought. When the game started, it didn't have Callie and Marie like it would, it would normally. No, it had two red inklings standing in a bloody room. Inklings trying to fight to stay alive. One of them even said, Save me. I ran back into the online battle area to see if anything went back to normal. I was quickly placed in a game, but this time, I was wearing red. I walked around the area and noticed a few uh, black inklings in different spots, standing perfectly still. I walked around the area and noticed a few black inked inklings? Uh, uh, now this is creepy. Yup. <laughs> Anyways, it immediately died and a scream horrid out of- out- and a scream horrid shot out from the gamepad. I went around another corner and saw another black inkling. I shot it again, hoping there would be a different result. But no, it did the same exact, except the scream sounded a lot more painful. I tried to move back, but my character kept going. I tried to go to the Wii U home screen, but it wasn't responding. I lost control of my character. It started shooting more and more of the Black Inklings. Huh? It started shooting more and more of the Black Inklings. I tried to turn the Wii U gamepad down, and even the TV, but the screams kept getting louder and louder. I covered my ears and closed my eyes so I wouldn't have to hear, nor see the sight of what was going on. I peeked up after a few seconds. The screen went to black. Blood started oozing down the screen. And then my character showed up. This time, it was a black inkling. More blood came oozing down over everything. Then writing appeared in the blood. You let it consume me. Now there's nothing left. The next day I went back to GameStop, I handed the man the game and my receipt and asked for a refund. <laughs> Unfortunately, he wasn't the same guy from before and the receipt had a different name of a different game on it. Great. Now I'm stuck with it. The end. I used to work at an intern at Nintendo Studios. I was doing my job when all of a sudden my boss came up to me. He said, Hey Joe, can you come here? He followed and I said, Why do you need me, boss? He got upset that I called him boss, but he said that I needed to playtest the new version of Splatoon 2. I got excited because I loved that. The, I loved the first game. He gave me the cartridge and I started playing. The game began with me creating my character. It was a... It was a... Limited? Limited? I thought I heard a voice in the background. I ignored it and finished my character. He looks really cool and stuff. <laughs> I finished the tutorial and began playing it. It started with some news things. They had the two new characters, Pearl and Marina. It was basically the same thing as the last game, so I ran around, but I noticed something was watching me. <laughs> I decided to go to McDonald's! I went to McDonald's, and the cashier was some kind of GHOST! He looked really scary and such, but I got myself some CHICKEN NUGGIES! The GHOST was pissed! Since I didn't have any money, I got a job working for him to pay the price. I had to scrub the floors. They were gross because they had blood all over them. I paid off the ghost and got my food. It was very good. I drove back to Nintendo and got to back to the game. I got into a turf war match, but something was off. The respawn things were broken. I played the game, but when I died, I was dead forever. I think that's stupid. So I reported it to Nintendop. I made a new character 
and went back to explore exploring. I went into an alleyway and saw some creepy guy. He had hyper-realistic blood all over him. He had claws, his face was deformed, and he was a human! Hello there, food. I'm a cryptid. And now, you will never escape. He grabbed me and ate me alive. I had to see my character be eaten alive with a ton of blood and guts. Then it cut to the news thing, and the two and the new characters were reporting on the death. Cryptid broke it and ate the two? Blood leaked from my switch, and I tossed the console in the trash. I told Nintendo to fix their game, and they did. I left the company, and they released the game with no cryptid character in sight. Hopefully my job at McDonald's will pay off my death? Please don't look for betas for Splatoon 2, or else you might find something huge.